Good evening, everyone, my friends. Today, today I'm going to share from Romans 14, verses 17 and 18. And I'll just read it. Actually, no. The, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm coming here is because the Lord had me share a word, and, and I was sharing a word at a, at a church that um that I love to go to and and I was just honored to be able to preach there tonight and man I was just filled with the Holy Spirit speaking it was awesome but um I spoke on this word a little bit the Lord had revealed something to me you know because there was a time in my life where I struggled with alcohol and and partying and and doing stuff and and just really just living a life in rebellion against God and 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 then I I even went to a uh, counselor one time. My mom had convinced me to go to this counselor and um, for various reasons and and they told me that I would never get sober without like help. Uh, they actually told me that I needed to go see a psychiatrist to get on psychiatric medication and they told me that um, I needed to come back and get counseling twice a week after I got a psychiatric medication prescription and anyways so but I left there and I just I never went back and I got sober um, the Lord because I just said man if I can't get if the Lord can't help me, then I don't even want help. Like if I have to use psychiatric medication or counseling from these people, I don't even want help. I, you know, if the Lord can't help me, like what's, what's the point of my faith, you know, in, in this almighty, powerful God that puts me on some, some medicine. Anyway, so, so I get sober and then I get overzealous, you know, and I started making like righteousness about sobriety and about like what I was not doing, you know, like I I got sober and then I got, uh, puffed up and overzealous and I was judging everybody. You know what I mean? Even though I was just some low life (laughs) that, that just got sober, you know what I mean? Like, like, and then I just wanted to share, you know, the Lord gave me this word. It says, the kingdom of God is not in meat or drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that in these things serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. And it's like this, you know, we get sober and that's good. Um, but soberness has nothing to do with our righteousness. It, it, it doesn't make us any more righteous. It is a fruit of our faith. You know what I mean? It, it, it is a byproduct of what we believe. We become sober because we can't continue to live unsober lives because the spirit within us will not allow us to, to do that, you know? But it doesn't make us, you know, Sobriety alone does not make us righteous. There's people in hell who had never drank, or smoked, or done drugs in their entire life. You know, like all the Pharisees, sober people, you know, but hell bound, you know. So it's important when you turn to the Lord, it's good to get sober. It's good to to get sober and and stop doing drugs and be free from addiction because Christ, the power of the gospel is to free you from those things. But we have to realize that the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. The, The kingdom of God is not about what I don't eat or don't drink or do eat and do drink. You know what I mean? It's about righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost, you know, and there might be someone who has freedom um, to to drink a glass of wine or a beer or or whatever. And but the, it's it doesn't mean that they're not saved, you know. Um, I can't put the same 
things on others that God puts on me and it says whatever you're convinced of that's what you know if, if you feel like you can't do something then you shouldn't do it anything that you can't do in faith is a sin so but it's just important to to re realize that there's so much more to the kingdom of God than sobriety like we can't we got to press in for more getting sober is good but we got to press in until we have peace and joy and, and our righteousness in the Holy Spirit. And it's not just about being sober. Amen.